The most important concept in this question is the idea that areas are additive, which means the area of X plus the area of Y is the same as the area of a circle like this. So the total area of X and Y together is going to be the same as the total area for a circle outside of the Y region or covering this entire region together. And that's the big picture here. So if I know that the inside area is equal to one third of the outside area because the outside area is three times larger, that means that X is equal to one third of Y, which means X, 3X is equal to Y. So I know 3X is equal to Y. I'm going to make X a radius of one, which means the area of X is going to be pi R squared, which is pi one squared, which just equals pi. Now, if the area of Y is three times larger, the area of Y is three pi, which would make the area of this entire circle. So the area of the entire circle, if I define that, it would be a total of four, four pi for the three, pl three pi plus one pi, so four pi total. Now that would mean we had a radius here where pi r squared equals four pi, r squared equals four, and r equals two. So the radius from the inside of x to the outside of this circle is a radius of two. So the circumference of x of the x circle, the small circle, we know is two pi r, which is two pi times one. And the radius of the other one is two pi times r, where that radius is two. And if we cross cancel, we get a ratio of one to two. And that is our that will lead us to the answer that the, the circumference of the larger circle is twice as big as the circumference of the smaller circle. So I chose easy numbers to work with. I like to solve it out with hard values because it just makes it clear to me what I'm doing. And what we find is that the inside area is equal to one when the outside area is equal to two. And that means it's twice as large or two times the size. Bringing us to answer choice C.